Hey there folks, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Now today I'm filling out a new request from a certain subscriber who you may have heard of named Joseph Lyon, aka Thomas Tank 123 However, this blog won't be anything related to Thomas the Tank Engine or Peter Pan. What is it, you may ask? Well, I guess since Joseph knows that I am the Mustang Prince, he asked me to blog a movie that involves horses. Now, if you may recall, the last few horse movies I blogged were, of course, The Last Unicorn and also the Unico movies, which were, in fact, fantasy stories. But the film I'll be blogging today is an animated horse film that takes place in the early days of the USA. So, let's get started. Released on May 24th, 2002, the movie is Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. So, let's ride. This story follows the adventures of a wild and rambunctious Mustang stallion as he journeys through the untamed American frontier. Encountering man for the first time, Spirit defies being broken even as he develops a remarkable friendship with a young Lakota named Little Creek. The courageous young stallion also finds love with a beautiful paint mare named Rain on his way to becoming one of the most greatest unsung heroes of the Old West. So, with all that said, what do I think of this movie? Well, this has got to be the most magnificent horse movie I've ever seen. Even though I regret not seeing it in theaters years ago. If only I didn't have so many conflicts at the time. But anyway, that aside, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now... Writer John Fusco, best known for his work in the Western and Native American genres, such as the Young Guns films, was hired by DreamWorks to create an original screenplay based on an idea by Jeffrey Katzenberg. John Fusco began by writing and submitting a novel to the studio, and then adapting his own work into screenplay format. He remained on the project as the main writer over the course of four years, working closely with Katzenberg, the directors, and the artists. The movie was made using a conscious blend of traditional hand-drawn animation and computer animation in a technique the film's creators dubbed trend-digital animation. DreamWorks SKG purchased a horse as the model for Spirit, and brought the horse to the animation studio in Glendale, California, for the animators to study. Hmm, kind of similar to Disney bringing a lion to the studio when they were working on The Lion King. Hmm. Anyway, in the sound department, recordings of real horses were used for the sounds of the many horse characters, hoofbeats, as well as their vocalizations. Many of the animators who worked on Spirit also worked on Shrek 2. And their influence can be seen in the horses in that film, such as Prince Charming's horse for the opening sequence, and Donkey's horse form. Makers of the film took a trip to the western U.S. to view scenic places that they could use as inspiration for locations in the film. The homeland of the Mustangs and the Lakotas is based on Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, Yosemite National Park, and the Grand Tenton mountain range. The cavalry outpost appears to be located at Monument Valley. The canyon of the climax looks like Bryce Canyon and the Grand Canyon. Now, I'm impressed with the animation. It looks absolutely spectacular. DreamWorks did a great job at capturing everything from the different landscapes like the fields, the deserts, canyons, even the horses and humans look great as well. In fact, several parts of the movie are, well, fun, hilarious, daring, intense, and above all, emotional and tear-jerking. 
And I especially feel a strong connection to the horses in the movie. And now, let's talk about the music and songs. Now, the music for the film was composed by Hans Zimmer, but you guys will never guess who wrote the songs for this movie. Yep, the songs were all done by Brian Adams. And yes, he's the same guy who years after this movie wrote songs for Legends of Oz Dirty's Return. Bash me if you want, I do not care. My favorite songs in this movie are Here I Am, You Can't Take Me, and Get Off of My Back. Anyway, now that we're done with Mustang notes, animation, and music, let's move on to the characters and some of their voice actors. Now, let's start with our title character, Spirit. Whose narration is done by Matt Damon. Whom I remember from such films like Happy Feet 2 and Hayao Miyazaki's Ponyo. What I love about Spirit is his free-spirited and fun-loving behavior. Plus, he's strong, responsible, but not a tame horse, but sometimes curious. But he does make a great leader for his herd. I especially like that he raises an eagle and makes friends with buffaloes at the beginning of the movie. Plus, he kind of reminds me of myself in a way. Next we have Spirit's human friend, Little Creek, voiced by Danielle Studi. Who was in, well, a certain film I don't know too much about, but it is worth a mention anyway. It's called Crazy Horse. When we first see Little Creek on screen, he's captured as a hostel by the U.S. Army near a quote-unquote supply wagon. Luckily, Spirit manages to help him escape not too long later. What I like about Little Creek is that he's really adventurous, daring, brave, and also a loving character. He's also kind and compassionate as well. I also like that he and his tribe can communicate with animals and also with nature. And I also like how he and his tribe can raise other horses in the wild. Next we have Spirit's love interest, Rain, who in my opinion has got to be the most beautiful horse I've ever seen in an animated film. What I love about her is that she's kind-hearted, lovable, yet very cautious, and she has a bit of a sense of humor in her, and she knows when to be serious. She also has a great bond with Little Creek. My favorite scene that Rain is involved with is when she's tied to Spirit in order to teach him some manners and to show him how she lives in the Lakota village. Finally, we come to the Colonel, voiced by James Cromwell. Known for being in the Babe films and Disney's Big Hero 6. He was also in another horse movie known as Secretariat. This guy is the leader of the USA Army who is fighting in the Indian Wars and who are expanding the country, which was known as the Manifest Destiny at the time. His men need as many horses as they can to help make it possible. What he does to Spirit after he's captured is trim his mane, ties him to a post, even makes him a train slave. While the Colonel and his men are a threat to Spirit and the Lakota tribe, He's not 100% heartless due to the fact that he lets our heroes go free nearing the end of the film. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, Spirit Style of the Cimarron is a magnificent movie to come from DreamWorks. The animation is beautiful, the characters from Spirit, Little Creek, and Rain are memorable, and the songs by Brian Adams are just wonderful. So with all that said, I am proud to give this movie the highest rating of 100%.
Well, that's it for today, folks. Be sure to join me again next time. Mustang Power! <laughs>